we are here we are coming your way this evening myself and my wife uh, we are blessed to be here together in this service today and um, this is destiny church washington dc uh sunday service and i want you to know that god is said to bless you thank you dickness jane for joining us this evening I want to thank you i want to appreciate you for joining us in this wonderful evening service and i want everyone that is watching us please tell us where you are watching from uh I want to uh, wait for everyone that is meant to be in this broadcast and on the behalf of myself and my wife we want to welcome you for this yet another life-changing session uh, thank you sir beverly uh, for coming on the line uh, please i wanted to share on your page share this uh, program on your page please share Please go to your button, uh, go to your button and and share, please, um, so that you can help us spread this message. Thank you, Dickness Jane, for uh, helping us to share this message. Thank you. Thank you, Star Beverly. Thank you. We appreciate you for sharing this message. This message is going to be catabolic this this evening. The power of God will be upon this broadcast. And I can tell you, the hand of God is going to show forth. The favor of God, the power of God is going to break forth upon all the platform. And everyone hearing us will receive a healing touch. The touch of God's healing hand. We we'll thank God because the presence and the power of God is upon this network. We want to thank God for what he has done in the first service this morning with all our London people who are talking about understanding, walking in the revelation of favor. If you have not listened to that, you can see that on our YouTube page, myself and resident pastor, we were there teaching on understanding the revelation of god's favor and this evening uh we'll be dealing with uh how what happens when god's favor show up that is what we are going to be dealing with tonight what happened when god's favor show up what is it that happened when the favor of god show up because that is what is going to happen for you this month. Amen. Favor will show up in your house. Amen. Favor will show up in your work. Amen. Favor will show up as you go out. Amen. Favor will show up as you come in. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The way the God's presence showed up in the midst of furnace of fire. So will God's favor show up in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to tell you somebody. The favor of God is going to show up. <laughs> I can tell you in the month of June, the favor of God showed up. It showed up big time for Mary. And by virtue of the showing up of God's favor, she conceived without a man. The impossible became possible. That is what has never happened in the history of mankind happened because God's favor showed up in our life. Does that mean to me, I'm talking to somebody right now, I prophesy to somebody right now, what has not happened this year by the favor of God will begin to happen in your life. What has never happened this year for good, for testimony, Amen. will begin to happen in your life Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I see the hand of God breaking forth Amen. in your affair Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When God's favor show up, it is a manifestation of grace. Amen. This favor will disappear. Amen. When it shows up, this grace will go out. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So let's pray. Father, thank you for this Jesus. evening. You, Mommy will be praying for us, every one of us that is connected to this network. My wife will be praying with us this hour as she opens up the, 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 the brokers. Please go ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. we want to bless your name again. Thank you, We Jesus. want to thank you for the opportunity to be in your presence. Thank you, You Lord. said the entrance of the word give it life. Yes. Lord, we pray as we receive your word today, yes. let life be transmitted to every part of our life today. Amen. Let there be change. Amen. Let there be testimony. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 We are going straight into the message. What happens when God's favor showed up? I said something to uh, all our people uh, 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 in London, London, talking about how when God's favor happens, what to do. And we, brother, what I'm going to talk about to us about the, the the favor of God. I want to let you know it's important to note that the revelation of God's favor comes first through the revelation of Jesus Christ. The word says in 1 Peter 1.13, 1 Peter 1.13, 1 Peter 1.13, let's see from Amplified. 1 Peter 1.13 Amplified. 1 Peter 1.13 Amplified. You will see what the Bible says here. Amplified version. 1 Peter 1.13. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 13. Okay, 1 Peter 1.13. Yes. It says there, so brace up your mind. Brace up your mind. Be sober. Be sober. Set your hope holy and unchangeably yes on the grace yes that is coming to you yes when jesus christ is revealed amen he's talking about grace he says you should set your mind first peter 1 13 he said that set up your hope holy and unchangeably unchangeably on the grace bracket divine favor that is coming to you so anywhere you see the word grace substituted for divine favor mm -hmm. because another meaning of the word grace is favor grace means divine favor that's why they say grace can be defined as unmerited favor mm -hmm. anywhere you find grace in the bible put favor there it will help you to have proper understanding of what favor is so when it shows up you will know it that this is god's favor because where there are no when there is no definition there will be deviation mm -hmm. and that's the reason why we are, are sharing this revelation with us that i want to say to somebody here favor is coming to you Amen. favor is coming to you is it set up your hope is it set it up mm -hmm. when god's favor come to you so God's favor is coming to you right now as I speak. Amen. Favor is coming to you. Note the word grace there. And that what does the word grace mean? The Hebrew word for grace means chain. Chain. Chain means C-H-E-N. Chain. And the word chain means favor, kindness, graciousness. So I believe that as you have heard that word, you read it out to yourself as you read and study that word. Anytime you see the word grace, stop, turn it to divine favor and take time to meditate upon it. Doing so will change your life as you discover that the revelation of God's favor always produces blessing. The revelation of God's favor always produces blessing. Moses understood the connection between favor and blessing before he died. So he blessed, he blessed the tribe of Israel, making them to make the following declaration over Naphtali. And I thank God that Sister Naphtali is on the line right now. So you are in the spirit. I have a scripture here that was talking about your name. <laughs> that is, he said, oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor. 
full of blessing of the Lord, possess the west and the east. Deuteronomy 33, verse 23. Deuteronomy 33, verse 33. This was the blessing. Thank you, Sister Beverly. Deuteronomy 33, verse 23. Deuteronomy, that's when Moses was about to die. He released this blessing over Naphtali, over, over, over the tribe of Naphtali. And this was what he said. Deuteronomy 33, verse 23. Says there, and of Naphtali he said, Of Naphtali he said, Oh Naphtali, oh Naphtali, satisfy with favor, satisfy with favor, and full of the blessings of the Lord, and full of the blessing of the Lord, possess the west and the south, possess the west and the south. Look at that. Naphtali is a full of the blessing of the Lord. Thank you, Barak Gamet. Thank you for joining the network. Thank you. Thank you, Barak Gamet. Thank you from. New Jersey, it was there the day the ministry was launched. They drove down with the entire family to Washington, D.C. They were there for oh, two wonderful three days. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I wanted to let you know, see what the Bible says here. It said, God's favor, notice the connection between the favor and the blessing of God, which ultimately enabled the tribe of Naphtali to possess the land that was to be theirs. God's favor on a person's life will produce blessing. What more? God get great pleasure out of being to demonstrate his favor on our life. God's favor enables you to possess your possession. That is, the favor of God empowers you to possess what heaven has ordained for you. In other words, he said, possess the West and the South. Possess the West and the South. Possess London. Possess Washington. Possess Maryland. Possess Atlanta. Possess Texas. Possess Nigeria. Possess anywhere you are. It means favor will not let you be empty-handed. I prophesy to somebody watching me tonight. You will not be empty and dead. Amen. You will not finish this month empty and dead. Amen. By favor, you will possess your possession. Amen. In the month of June, you will possess your blessing. Amen. You will possess what heaven has ordained for you. Amen. So no favor, no possession. Amen. The more the favor, the more the possessions. I mean, behind your possession is the spirit of favor. Amen. When the spirit of favor show up, possession will show up. Hallelujah. When the spirit of favor show up, possession will show up. When the spirit of favor show up, possession will show up. It means to me, without the favor of God, it is the favor that opened the door to possession. And that is why you need this favor. And that's what the Bible says here in Psalm 35. Psalm 35, 27. Psalm 35. Psalm 35, 27. Psalm 35, 27. Psalm 35, verse 27. See what he said here. Verse 27. It says there, he said, let them shout for joy. Let them shout for joy. And be glad. And be glad. Who favor my righteous cause. Who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continuously. Let them say continuously. Let the Lord be magnified. Let the Lord be magnified. Who has pleasure? Who in the, has pleasure in the, the prosperity of his, of his servants? That is why God says so. He's saying that as we take the time to translate the word grace to divine favor and meditate upon that word, we we'll begin to experience continuous blessing that the revelation of God's favor brings to our life. One person who experienced such revelation is Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. He has such unusual understanding about the grace of God. In fact, if you consider all his letters, you will see grace be with you. Grace be with you. Or is, if he doesn't start with his letter, it ends with his letter. Mm -hmm. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. 
Mean the favor of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. That's why Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. I am what I am by the mercy of God. It means your destiny is grace determined. Ah, hey, favor determined. Now, what does that mean? It means to me that the favor guarantees speed. I am what I am. First Corinthians 15 verse 10. I am what I am. By the grace of God. If grace is favor, I am what I am. By the favor of God. Amen. You cannot be all you are meant to be except by the favor of God. The favor of God will help you succeed quicker than without it. I want to let you know that Paul became the greatest of the apostles. He became the, so, so your greatness is inside your graceness. Your greatness is inside your graceness. And grace is favor. That's why when they prayed in the house of the apostles, Acts chapter 4, verse 33. Acts 4, verse 33. When they prayed, Acts chapter 4, verse 33. See what is coming on you today. Acts 4, 33. 33. It says there, and with great power, with great power, the apostles, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Gave witness to the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, and great grace was upon them and all. And great grace was upon them all. If we interpret great grace as favor, then great favor was upon them all. Amen. So it's possible for great favor to be upon you. Great grace was upon them all. Great grace was upon them all. I prophesy to somebody watching tonight. I stand by the corporate anointing of myself and our resident pastor and will declare over you right now, great grace is coming on you. Great favor is coming on you. Great favor is resting on you. Great favor is coming on your walk. It's coming on your house. It's coming on your car. It's coming on your children. Great favor is coming on you. It's and great grace was upon them all. Great grace was upon them all. I wanted to believe it. I wanted to receive it. Great grace for great race. It was upon them all. Great grace for great speed was upon them all. I prophesy upon you right now. Great grace will rest on you. Great grace will rest on you. Great grace that cancel great disgrace. Great grace that cancel disgrace. May it rest on you now. Shaka pano tantekerebo sata. Etendeke topele teketeya. Great grace. May it rest on you. In the name of Jesus. When grace show up. When favor show up. Greatness will show up. Amen. Greatness will show up. Amen. And see what happens as a result. As a result. See what happens. When great grace show up. Lack will disappear. When great grace show up. When great favor show up. Supply will show up. Provision will show up. Great. Yeah, verse 33. Verse 33. Yes. Said, and with great power. With great power. The apostles, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Yes. And great grace was upon them all. The next verse. Verse 20, 34. Nor was there anyone among them who lacks. Yes. For all who were possessors of lands or houses sold them and through the through the proceed of the things that they were sold. You can see that that when the great grace showed up in their life, those that were possessor of land, see grace, possession, favor, possession. I prophesy to somebody watching me, if you can shout amen like thunder. Before the end of this year, you will possess your own house. Amen. Before the end of this year, you will have the possession of your own house. Amen. If you don't have possession, this year you begin to have possession. Amen. 
of landed properties. I prophesy to you, particularly if you will use it in the service of God and man, I prophesy supernatural provision in your direction. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I pray for you right now that great grace will show up in your house. Amen. Great grace will show up in your, in your life. Amen. When favor show up, fortune will show up. Amen. I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptian, favor in the sight of Londoners, favor in the sight of Americans. And when they go, they will not go empty and dead. Empty and deadness is lack of favor. Mm. Empty and deadness is lack of favor. And I want to let you know, there is favor coming your way. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. What are we saying? When, 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 when favor show up, and that thing that happen, when favor show up, speed will show up. And um, 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 Paul was saying, I am what I am by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. It became the greatest of the apostles. Mm -hmm. It was the last among them. It became the first among them. Mm -hmm. So favor can take you from the back to the front. Mm -hmm. When favor show up, there is change your position. Mm -hmm. When favor show up, there will be change of position. Mm -hmm. I am speaking to somebody right now. By the release of God's favor coming your way by the virtue of these brokers. I see a change of position. Mm -hmm. Where your labor cannot take you to, grace will take you there. Mm -hmm. Where your labor cannot take you to, favor will take you there. Mm -hmm. Where your own labor, where your own work cannot take you to, where your own sweat cannot take you to, malekra palike tandobike taya, eke peke teke tarababaya, you have been struggling and struggling. Where your own labor cannot take you to, favor will take you there. When favor show up, it will take you from 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 behind to the front. When favor show up, things change. Your position is changed. Now that is what we we'll see here. Uh, what Paul was talking about. Paul wrote about what happened to him. I want to let you know when the when the when the favor of God when he showed up, uh, he showed up also. Before I go to Paul, he showed up for Peter in Luke chapter five. Mm. Peter was struggling. He, he was throwing his net mm. and he caught nothing. And the favor of God showed up. Jesus showed up in his boat mm. and let me use your boat. And he saw the favor. Jesus told Peter, do me a favor. He said, what is it? Can you push out your 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 sheep your uh your canoe whatever you are using your boat can can i borrow it do me a favor and he gave jesus a favor by using his boat mm. and this is what i say to all of you there is what to do to provoke this favor peter gave his boat that's the part many people did not talk about in the midst of his frustration, he gave his boat. Sometimes in the midst of your frustration, God is telling you to sow a seed. Mm. In the midst of your lack, when you are sowing a seed, you are moving God. Mm. God is healing somebody right now. Mm. On the left, on the right, left side of your ears, on this side of your ears, you're having a challenge there, be here right now. Mm. It has to do with your nerve, nerve part of your ears. Be here, if you are the person, let's hear from you. God is in you right now. And we saw what happened. After that, Jesus said to him, throw your net. And Peter threw his net. And he has not caught anything before that time. Mm -hmm. And by the favor of God, what he could not catch by labor. He said, I have labor, I have done it all night. Mm -hmm. And we have caught nothing. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 5 from verse 1 to 9. He said, we have, we have, we have toiled all night. And we have caught nothing. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have toiled throughout this year. And you have caught nothing. Mm -hmm. By the favor of God you are catching something. Mm -hmm. But when the favor of God showed up. <laughs> when God's favor show up. Your toiling stops. Mm -hmm. When God's favor show up. You have a breakthrough. Yes. When God's favor show up. 
toiling will be turned to breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And we saw it. He said, I have toiled all night. Mm -hmm. I have labored all night. Maybe you have toiled from January to now. And COVID-19 made even more difficult for you. Mm -hmm. You didn't get anything. Maybe you are empty-handed. I prophesy to you, watching me right now, favor will show up in your house. Mm -hmm. Favor will show up in your house. Mm -hmm. Favor will show up in your work. Mm -hmm. Favor will show up in your ministry. Mm -hmm. I decree God's mercy. Mm -hmm. I decree God's favor. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's favor with one person you need. Mm -hmm. And everything will just change. It was your favor with Jesus that Peter needed and everything changed for him. Sometimes it is one favor with one person you need. Hmm. Not even everybody. It was favor just with Pharaoh that Joseph needed and he became prime minister. And it was your favor with Azarus that Esther needed. Sometimes this favor, it may be if one person favor you and your life turn around. I prophesy to you, anyone who's favor you need for your destiny to have meaning, begin to meet them now. Begin to meet them now. Begin to meet them now. I decree they will come to you. You will go to them. Everyone who's favor you need for your toiling to turn to, to turn to a breakthrough. I decree this week, begin to meet them. Hey, I pray somebody will not sleep. Ah, because to make sure that hell even favor Mordecai, the king could not sleep. So that favor can show up for him. I pray for somebody here. Somebody will not sleep because of you. Somebody will not sleep until favor enter your house. That's why some people sing all manner of song when it comes to God's favor. I'm praying for somebody right now. Just the way favor Change the story of Mordecai mm. when it was remember. That's why Psalm 106 verse 4 says, Remember me with the favor that thou hast towards your people, mm. that I may see the good of thy chosen. May God remember you with favor. Mm. I prophesy to somebody watching me this night, May heaven remember you with favor. Mm. Ah, God can remember you with favor. Mm. When you remember you with favor, meaning that when favor, God remember you with favor, Favor will show up in your affairs. Maleko panike tandegri abelia tandaga is a force of the spirit. Favor is one of the forces of the spirit. Malike to prakataya is among the blessing. Psalm 106 verse 4. What did he say, mommy? Psalm 106 verse 4. Remember me, O Lord. Remember me, O Lord. With the favor you have towards your people. With the favor you have towards your people. Verse 5. Verse 5, that I may see the benefit. That I may see the one. benefit of your chosen one. When God favored, there are things you will see. Mm. When God's favor show up, there are things you will see. That I may see the benefit of my chosen one. May God remember you with favor tonight. Okay. I prophesy to somebody here. Mm. Oh, that single sister. Oh, that brother looking for husband, that looking for wife. Mm. I pray for you tonight. Mm. Favor, the Lord will remember you with favor. Mm. It is favor that empowers you to take your portion. Mm. It's what makes you to see the good, the goodness of God in the land of the living. Mm. He said, I may see the good of thy chosen. And what he said in the remaining? Yeah. Verse 5 to 6. Verse Six. Chosen one, that I may rejoice in the and that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. That I may glory with your inheritance. Verse six. Uh -huh. We have seen with our fathers. Yes. We have committed iniquity. Yes. We have done wickedly. Yes. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders. They didn't understand the wonders of all these things. They did not remember the multitude of they your They didn't masses. remember the multitude of that mess. They, they, did, they didn't understand it. They rebelled because they lack understanding. They didn't know it was favor that bailed them out. Uh, that was why there was bailout of favor. It was favor that bailed them out. Labor of 400 years, labor bailed, favor bailed them out. At this moment, many business are depending on the government for government bailout. Mm -hmm. By prophesy to somebody here, you will collect favor bailout. Mm -hmm. I say for you, you will collect favor bailout. Mm -hmm. 
Many of us are alive because favor bail us out. Mm. That virus that killed others came to you too. But that virus could not kill you because you are shielded. Mm. Psalm 5 verse 12, it said, Thou will bless the righteous. Lord, thou will bless the righteous with favor and surround him as of a shield. Oh, I prophesy to you that the Lord begin to shield you. Mm. The Lord that shielded you that COVID-19 could not take you away. COVID-19 could not kill you. That same favor, that same shield will be upon you throughout this year in Jesus' name. Mm. When favor show up, protection will show up. Mm. When favor show up, it gives you exemption certificate. Mm. When favor show up, it gives you exemption certificate. Mm. I can tell you that favor can exempt you from debt. Favor can exempt you from debt that kill others. Favor can, can make you to live where others have died. Mm. Favor can make you to live where others have died. And that is why we are saying to somebody right now, if God has kept you till now, God's favor will keep you alive. Amen. You will not die. Amen. I prophesy to you, they are recording people that died in the news for the month or each month. This month of June, your name will not be there. Amen. I say your name will not be there. Amen. And we saw in Second Corinthians chapter 12, mommy. Second Corinthians chapter 12. I want to appreciate mommy for joining me today. She's helping me to read this Bible. And as she's helping me to read this Bible, the anointing just increasing. When she read the Bible, the anointing will jump up. Second Corinthians chapter 12, 7 to 10. So every one of you that is watching me right now, I believe God for you. That the favor of God will locate you. The favor of God will locate you. Favor will change your address. Favor of God will change your address. Second Corinthians 12, verse 7 to 10. Okay, verse 7. He said, unless I should be exalted. Unless I should be exalted. Above measure. Above measure. By the abundance of. But the abundance of revelation, yes. A tongue in the flesh was given to me. A tongue in the flesh was given to me. A messenger, a messenger of Satan, of Satan to, buffet me, to buffet me. Lest I be exalted above measure. Lord, I be exalted above measure. Concerning these things, concerning these things, I plead with the Lord. I plead with the Lord three times. Three that times. It may be departed from me. That it may go from me. And He said to me. And He said to me. My grace is sufficient. My for grace me. sufficient for you. For my strength. Is for me. my strength is made I perfect in weakness. In weakness. Therefore, Therefore, most gladly, most gladly I would rather boast in, rather my, boast in my infirmity, infirmity yes, that, the power, of that the power of Christ may rest upon, may upon me. me. Amen. Now, what he said here, verse, that, 10. verse 10, he said, Therefore, Therefore I, take pleasure I take pleasure in infirmities, infirmities in reproaches, in, reproaches, in, needs, in, in needs, in distresses, in distresses for, Christ's sake. for Christ's sake. For when, I'm weak, for when I am weak, then I'm strong. I am strong. Paul said a messenger of Satan was sent against him. He went to God about and God said, my grace is sufficient for you. Mm -hmm. Remember, the word grace means favor. Mm -hmm. God is saying my divine favor was a sufficient force to be used, not only against the enemy, but also, according to Paul, against infirmity, mm -hmm. against reproach, against need, against persecution, against distress. There is more than enough God's favor to meet every need that we have. Amen. There is more than enough God's favor to meet every need that we have. Amen. In times when there seems to be no way out of situation, mm -hmm. we wonder what we are going to do, what we can declare. God's favor is sufficient for me. Amen. I want to be declaring it that God's favor is sufficient for me. Mm -hmm. Say with me, God's favor is sufficient for me. God's favor is sufficient for me. Declare it. God's favor is sufficient for me. What am I saying to all of you is this. When God's favor show up, circumstances change. Amen. When God's favor show up, your circumstances will change. Mm -hmm. Your destinies are altered. Mm -hmm. When circumstances show up, your destinies change. Your circumstances 
are altered. Things that the enemy meant for evil, God turned it for your good. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. When God decides his favor to begin to manifest in your affairs, and that is what we are saying here today, favor will change your circumstances. Mm -hmm. When God's favor show up, circumstances change. Mm -hmm. I prophesy to somebody watching me tonight, your circumstances will begin to change from now. Amen. God's favor will show up in your situation. Amen. Your circumstance will change. Amen. Your circumstance will change. Amen. I decree, I declare that God's favor will begin to show up in your circumstances. Amen. God's favor will begin to show up in your reproaches. Amen. God's favor begin to show up in your afflictions, Amen. in your infirmities, Amen. in your distresses, Amen. and will begin to change it in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody under distress, somebody under tension, Amen. I see God's favor changing the situation for you in Jesus' name. Amen. I see God's favor changing it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. I prophesy. Amen. I decree, I declare, your circumstance about to change. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Samata, for watching. Uh, that's my classmate from, from the campus 1992. Thank you, my sister, for watching. As uh, you see, I will in London in 1992. We have been together on campus. Thank you for watching. When God's favor show up, your circumstances will change. Amen. When God's favor show up, it will change your circumstances. Mm -hmm. That is what happens. God's favor, it changes your circumstances. God's favor is sufficient for you. Mm -hmm. It's sufficient to take care of your persecution, mm -hmm. your infirmities, that present challenge and need and reproach you are facing right now. May the favor of God Change that thing in Jesus' name. Amen. What Amen. other thing does favor do when it show up? When God's favor show up, it causes you to walk in victory. Mm. It affects your destiny to walk in victory. Mm. We see the story of Joseph in the Old Testament. Joseph was fulfilled, was able to fulfill his destiny by favor. When his older brother became jealous, then this is that name. Became jealous of Joseph. They sold him to slavery. And he was taken to Egypt. When the captain of the guard and uh, the wife, uh, when, when the captain of the guard Potiphar chased him, bought him, uh, the story has an unexpected turn. And we saw in Genesis 39, verse 2 to 6, we saw what happened to Joseph. Two to six. In Genesis 39, 2 to 6. Yeah, please Verse, read. Two. Verse two. He said, "The Lord was with Joseph." The Lord was with Joseph, and he was a successful man. And he was a successful man. He said in that place, and he was in the house of his master. He was in the house of the master of the Egyptians. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. Yes. And that the Lord made all he did to prosper in his hand. Yes. Verse four. He said, so Joseph found favor in his sight. He found favor in his sight. And served him. And served him. Then he made him overseer. You can of see what happened. The moment favor came, he changed position. He became an overseer. And all that he had, he put under his authority. He put under his authority. Favor made him everything. Go ahead. Everything that was Verse left under his control. Carry on. Verse 5. So it was. Yes. From the time that he had made him overseer of his house. From the time. And all that he had. Yes. That the Lord blessed Egyptians' house for Joseph's sake. And he blessed, and the blessing of the Lord was on all that he had in the house and in the field. Verse 6. Thus he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, mm -hmm. and he did not know what he had except for the bread which he ate. You no. can go ahead. You can see that it was the favor of God that caused the blessing to be upon everything they were doing. 
now joseph was handsome in form and appearance yes you can see that even that favor translates to his appearance mm. how can a slave be handsome what is handsome when a slave is wearing pants i'm not talking about pants of america because i'm talking about when we are in america they say want to go and buy pants eh? what they call pants in england is underwear <laughs> I just say, you know, when you are, <laughs> when you are, when you are, when they say in America, I want to go and buy a pant, they mean trouser. Uh -huh. When they say I want to go and buy a pant in England, it means underwear. It was underwear that Joseph was wearing. How can a slave be handsome except the favor of God? It's favor of God the woman mistook and thought the boy was handsome. Mm -mm. It was the favor of God that made him handsome and legsome and face some. Mm -hmm. I can tell you when favor of God rests upon you, you look beautiful, you look bolito, you look panache. Mm -hmm. When God's favor rests upon you, you look, you look, you look attractive. People like to marry you. Mm -hmm. So it means to me, favor can terminate problem of who to marry favor can terminate they, 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 they you can break the yoke of marital delay mm -hmm. i prophesy to somebody here mm -hmm. the yoke of many delay you are suffered is over tonight mm -hmm. favor mm -hmm. we get to your partner mm -hmm. favor we put into marriage mm -hmm. in the name of jesus christ mm -hmm. when favor show up it means blessing show up mm -hmm. Again, when favor show up, blessing showed up. Blessing was upon everything they did. Mm -hmm. Everything under the care of Joseph began to add the blessing mm -hmm. in the house, in the field. Mm -hmm. So that's not physical, that's spiritual. Mm -hmm. Favor is a spiritual force. It's a spiritual force that when it's upon you, things begin to prosper mm -hmm. on their accord. A divine thing that makes everything to prosper in your hands. Mm -hmm. You become what you call mind that's touch. Everything you touch seems to prosper. Mm -hmm. When God's favor is upon your life, that kind of favor on Joseph that made the slave to become an overseer, mm -hmm. I prophesy that over your life in Jesus' name. Amen. If the favor can work for Joseph as a slave, how much more you as a believer? Mm -hmm. How how much more you as a believer that's not a slave mm -hmm. how much more you that is free by the blood of jesus christ mm -hmm. i pray for somebody here the spirit of favor will rest upon you today mm -hmm. favor will show up in your workplace mm -hmm. favor will show up in your workplace mm -hmm. he found favor in the sight of his boss favor was what positioned joseph and I see that happen for you in Jesus' name. Amen. And as a slave, we saw in his master's house. Joseph's master does not even know what he possessed. He mm. knew Joseph does. He didn't know what he possessed. But Joseph does. That's an extraordinary trust. Because of faith was upon Joseph. The house of Jesus was blessed. Mm. Joseph flourished in the difficult circumstances. Joseph flourished in a, in a difficult situation. Joseph's destiny was altered because of favor. Mm. That's what I say. When God's favor is on you, your life will be flavored. Mm -hmm. hey. When favor show up in your life, flavor, you'll be smelling cologne. Givenchy. Spiritual givenchy. You'll be, you'll, be, you'll be putting on Georgia money. When you enter a place, ah, who is this? Oh, hallelujah. Who is the person that enter here? Everywhere is looking, is smelling good. That is how you be smelling good to people. Amen. I pray for you today. That cologne of favor is only God that give it. Amen. You can't get it in Paris. I tell you something. You can't buy it in any store. The cologne of favor. Hey, may the, may the perfume of favor be spread on you today. Amen. Hey, pale katala baba 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 ya. This is my wife here. So, my finally, wife, finally, a good thing. I find a good thing. I got cologne. I got cologne. <laughs> cologne of favor. This is my girlfriend. This is my girlfriend. <laughs> cologne. Favor. 
you can't buy it in any store. It's not available in Walmart. No, you can't get it in Target. No, you can only get it from God. Amen. The perfume of favor, may it rest upon you. Amen. When the perfume of favor is upon you, rejection is canceled. Mm. Even we saw here, but the plot twisted again. The Bible said that Joseph and some his masters took notice of the boy, although she tried to seduce him. Joseph's integrity will not allow him to compromise. And you can see it was spoken day by day. Joseph refused. And we saw what happened. As a result, they implicated Joseph and he was sent to prison. Even in prison, see what happened. Notice in prison, that boy was thrown to prison without investigation. The woman accused Joseph of sexual harassment. He lied on Joseph. But when the boy got to prison, what happened? In prison. Genesis 39, 21, mommy. 39, 21. 21. It says there, but the Lord was with Joseph. But the Lord was with Joseph. And showed him, him mercy. And showed him mercy. And he gave him favor. And gave him favor. In the side of the keeper of the, of the And the same favor follow him. So I discover that Favor is not absence of problem. Mm. Favor guarantees covering the midst of problem. Mm. Guarantee that you are someone that will be speaking for you. Favor will become your Anthony. Favor become your lawyer. Mm. Favor become mm. your solicitor. Mm. Notice that Joseph, there was no indication that Joseph ever defended himself. Mm. He never told his master, your wife was lying. He did not have to defend himself because he knew the favor of God was upon him. He knew the favor of God will vindicate him. That's what happened. When favor show up, God will vindicate you. Amen. You'll be vindicated. Amen. People lie against you where you are walking. They lie. They wrote good grammar against you. I'm telling you, uh, it was painful. They wrote... A lie letter, they lie against, they sacked you for what you did not do. People lie against people this day. They lie against them. But God's favor will vindicate you. Amen. There is somebody watching me tonight. God's favor will vindicate you. Amen. I say God's favor will vindicate you. Amen. Once again, the favor of God was with Joseph to fulfill the course of his destiny. Amen. The favor of God was with Joseph to fulfill the call of his destiny. Joseph got thrown to the prison. He became a warden. He became a warden. He became a leader. Now, that's favor. Mm -hmm. From a prisoner, he became a warder. Mm -hmm. From prisoner, become the keeper of other prisoners. Mm -hmm. Everywhere Joseph entered, I noticed he gets to the top. Mm -hmm. Everywhere Joseph entered, he gets to the top. I prophesy to somebody watching me right now. I pray for somebody right now that that lie they said against you, even in that prison where the people have lied against you, lied against your integrity, the favor of God will put it to the top. Amen. Joseph, even in prison, favor was still working for him. Amen. I profess, look, people can take anything from you. As long as they don't take God's presence from you, Amen. you are still linked at. The Bible says, and God's favor, God, God gave him, the Lord was with Joseph. Amen. I say to you, if anything you lose, maybe you lost a job or you lost a place, just make sure you don't lose God's presence. Amen. The Bible says, and God was with Joseph. And God gave him mercy. God gave him favor. Amen. If God is with you, it doesn't matter who is not with you. Amen. God's presence will supply you mercy. Amen. Will supply you favor. Amen. I profess that to somebody here Amen. in this hour, whether you are in Chicago or you are in, you are in Washington, D.C., any part of America that you are in, I prophesy to you by this service today, Melekerepe, I brought to that favor will speak for you. Amen. Even in that prison like situation, favor will alter the course of your destiny. Amen. Favor will become the ladder you will climb out of your prison. Amen. I don't care what 
prison they put you. All I'm saying is that let the favor of God be with you there. What are we saying tonight? I say when God's favor show up, everyone will vindicate you. When God's favor show up, your prison, heaven will turn it around for your good. What people thought would be your end will become a bender. I tell you, favor spoke for Joseph in the prison. I want to let you know, favor altered the course of his destiny. Favor was what made it possible for him to accomplish the vision of his destiny. Mm. So it means to me, without favor, the visions, the dream of your life cannot become a reality. He had a dream that, they would, that the traitor would bow down to him. He had a dream that he would become a leader. But that dream did not come to pass except by the favor of God. And that is why I discover that the favor of God is a catalyst of any man's destiny. Hey, Parakataya! Favor is a catalyst of any man's destiny. Nothing catalyzes a man's destiny. Nothing spice up a man's destiny. Nothing beautify a man's destiny. Nothing enhance the fulfillment of man's destiny like favor. I prophesy to somebody watching me now. May favor land on your life. Hey, hey I discover when God's favor is upon your life, what people throw on you as a barrier become a step stone. Ha. What people throw, they throw it on Joseph. They throw it on him. They put him in that prison to end his life. What they thought would be his end, the, the barrier they threw on his path became a stepping stone. I prophesy to somebody right now what people are thrown you into to implicate you, to imprison you. May that barrier become your stepping stone. Amen. May that barrier become your stepping stone. Amen. When favor show up, what people throw on your path hmm. as a stumbling block become your stepping stone. Amen. I say it again. When favor show up, when God's favor show up, the, 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 the stone of barrier the throne on your path will become your stepping stone. Amen. I prophesy to you right now Amen. that you are going to that favor of God will make it possible for what is sent against you to become a stepping stone. Amen. Favor with somebody for Joseph. Amen. The favor of God, the throne to prison. Nothing could stop this man being victorious. Mm. Despite how low his circumstances have been taking him. Favor of God kept bringing him to the top. <laughs> and the best keep coming out. Mm. No matter how they keep throwing him to the prison, they throw him to the ground, favor keep bringing him to the top. Amen. I say to somebody watching me, favor will bring him to the top. Amen. Favor bring him to the top. Amen. Help me share this message. Help me share this message. Help me share this message. Help me share it. Share it on your platform. Two years after Joseph was in prison, Pharaoh had another disturbing dream. No one could interpret it. Pharaoh Butler, a young Hebrew man, could not interpret it. Joseph was summoned from the prison and interpreted the dream, providing Pharaoh with the answer that gave him peace. Once again, the favor of God altered Joseph's destiny. I pray for you, the favor of God will alter your destiny possibly. Amen. The favor of God will begin to alter, will begin to spice up your destiny Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say to you right now, we saw what happened that's in Genesis 41, 37 to 43. Genesis 41, 30 to 47, Genesis 41, 30 to 43. Joseph spent years of his life as a captive after his brother turned against him. He was sold into slavery. He was thrown into prison. One would never expect to him to end up in the presence of Pharaoh, much less the entire land of Egypt, placed under an oversight. But Joseph emerged victorious because of favor on his life. All this happened before he was 36 years of age. What does that mean to me? 
favor played a role in the victory of Joseph. Mm. Joseph had challenges thrown at him, but favor led him to victory. Mm. I pray for somebody right now. Favor will land you in victory. Amen. You are going to leave Trier Avenue to Victory Avenue. Amen. Hey, in Washington, D.C., you have K Street. <laughs> you have K Street. <laughs> I want to add another street to it. We have V Street. We have Victoria Street. Mm -hmm. Just as the mayor, ha, the mayor turned a, 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 a road there and painted it in a particular color. Beautiful. Black Life Matter Street. I want them to add another one to the Victoria Street. Favor, we turn you to walk in Victory Avenue. Mm -hmm. What people lie on your head, people people lie on you, people do a manner of things, attack you, but I prophesy to you, Ketepina, may this prayer be a stamp on you like a stamp of a letter. Mm -hmm. The way stamp remain on letter until you arrive in this place, may the favor of God become a stamp on your life. Mm -hmm. Hey, Palitaya, somebody place hand on your head. Place hand on your head right now. Place hand on your head. Place hand on your head. I pray the stamp of favor. Amen. Let it be upon your life. Amen. The stamp of favor. Amen. Let it rest upon your life. Amen. The stamp of favor. Let it rest upon your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The stamp of favor will be upon your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That your son under attack. I release him from that attack. Amen. I speak to that your son Amen. under attack. Amen. I lose him. From the attack of the wicked. Amen. Satan take your hand off. Amen. It's life. Yes. Deliver him. From the end of his enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ. I call it so. Amen. Just as a stamp on a letter. Does is not removed. Amen. Until the letter arrives where it's going. Amen. So will the favor of God become your stamp. Amen. That favor of God will not leave your life. Until you have arrived in your place of destination. Amen. Until you have arrived in your place of destiny, Amen. I prophesy to you, Keto Pariata, When favor come, he open the door to your part of destiny. Amen. I command it so. Amen. I command it so. Amen. To be clear, Amen. having the favor of God on your life does not exempt you from trials. Amen. I say again, it does not mean problems will not come. Challenge will not come. Remember Joseph faced problem of his master's wife advances, trial of imprisonment, but after favor had clearly been at work in his life. What does it mean? It means you will not be destroyed by problems, mm. by trials and challenges. Amen. You will not be defeated, rather you will be victorious. Amen. When the favor of God show up in your life, you will not be defeated by trials, mm. by problems, by challenges, you will you will rather be victorious. And I have learned any problem that cannot defeat you will make you strong. Mm -hmm. Any problem that cannot defeat you will only make you strong. Any problem that cannot kill you will only make you strong. Mm -hmm. I prophesy upon your life that the favor of God will come upon your life in Jesus' name. Amen. If God's favor brought victory all to, to people of the old covenant, how much more will God's favor bring us what the new covenant founded in the promise of grace? Mm. If people in the Old Testament favor brought them victory, mm. how much more me and you under the new covenant of grace and that is why I declare over your life, favor will land on your life. Amen. Favor will land on your life. Amen. We saw Ruth chapter 2 verse 10, Ruth found grace mm. in the sight of Boaz. Mm. That a lady got married. And we saw Samuel, he found favor with God and man. For Samuel 2.26, Ruth 2.10, all these things, all these people, not only Joseph, all these people found favor. And we saw Job also had favor. Job 10.12, he said, you granted me life and favor, and you care, your care has preserved me. I want to let you know that Ruth had favor. Ah, Ruth had favor. Ah, ah. Uh, Samuel had favor. Job had favor. Abba. 
The Bible says in Psalm 84 verse 11, it said, uh, the Lord will give sun and shield. He said, will give grace and favor. Mm -hmm. Nothing good we God we told from them love. that love him. Mm -hmm. How much more? And that is why I'm praying for somebody right now that if God does not withhold favor from them that walk upright before him, mm -hmm. uh, God did not withhold favor. Now, whatever any good thing that is needed for you uh, in this month of June, in the midst of this year, may that thing come for your life. Amen. May it come upon your life. Amen. May it come on your life. Amen. Everything that you desire, that you have been believing God for, I decree, I declare. Amen. I declare God's grace and favor over your life. Amen. I pray for you today Maleke prokosa talia klaba baba ya bese mla kene masia o beleke tele bodo bodia favor rest upon your life as you rest upon your life how do you get favor no boy must be born again you must be born again ah that is one thing you must be born again how do you get favor you must be born again that's the key number 1 give your life to Jesus that's the key to favor number 2 I said in the first service, like I said, number two, learn to be grateful. Mm. Anytime you see the favor of God on your life, please learn to appreciate it. That's one key to favor. Uh, that's one key to favor. When you see, uh, every time you see, anytime God has done something for you, and you see this favor, what you do is that you begin to say, Lord, this is your favor. I acknowledge this as your favor. Anytime you see favor, declare it and thank God for it. When you when you say Lord, thank you for your favor. When it, I say that the more you become aware and expect of God's favor, giving Him praise for the moment you experience it, the more favor will manifest. Mm -hmm. The more you thank God for His favor when He shows up in that same spot. Ah, Lord, thank you for this favor. Even when you're saying that and thanking Him, God will multiply it and manifest it. Mm -hmm. And I've explained that in separate, in many, many ways. Shopping more, I've seen people pay for my shopping. I've, from Q long Q, I've seen been diverted to go to the faster route at the airport and different things. Number number three, sow seed of favor. Sow seed of favor uh, in to, to advance God's cause. Psalm 37, 35 verse 27. He said, he said, those that favor God's righteous cause, God take pleasure in their prosperity. Favor anything that God is doing. We are taking care of the homeless. We, we feed them every Sunday and Saturday in this is so into that project. You see our paper out there or uh, cash up, so into nothing is too small. So favor. No, last one you need to pray for is God's presence. All the people that God manifests in their life, God was with them. Mm. The Lord was with Mary, he showed him favor. Lord was with Joseph, showed him favor. God's presence carry favor. Mm. Moses said, if you are found grace in your sight, Lord, go with us, and God went with them. Mm. So this is why I'm going to end the broadcast today. We'll continue this week, this week is our week of anniversary uh, uh, for London Church uh, on Friday, and I wanted to join us for that program. Uh, 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 that will be by 8 p.m., and on Sunday, the same time, will be Robert Lydon uh, 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 from 8.45, which is 3.45. I want to join us, and the Lord will be with you. I want to pray with us right now, uh, mommy will be joining us to pray for favor to rest on your life. Mommy, please pray for us. Father, we want to thank you again. Yes, Lord. We appreciate you for adding this something of internal value to our life. Today. Thank you, Jesus. We pray, mighty God, as we have heard your word on favor. Yes. We pray, mighty God, that your word will be manifest in our life. Amen. Someone out there believing you for favor in court case, in whatsoever area of their Malaya life, Lord, we pray for the grace of God to be manifested in the form of favor. On their behalf in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray as they have heard your word. You said your word Shabba, entered me ba, 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 and ba, ba, set me ba, ba, on my feet. Set, yes. And I hear you. Lord ba, Father, let, set top, someone bro, on their feet this way. Amen. Set them out of their sickness. Amen. Set them out of their challenge. Amen. Set them out of their problems. Amen. As a result of your word that they have heard today, yes. let there be testimony. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I believe God that we are praying for you god's favor become your 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 your, your, your blessing mm -hmm. if you have been blessed by the message please drop us a word you have been blessed by the word you are today drop us a word so it's seed into our ministry i believe we are doing great work out there to reach out to other people 
Sow a seed, not in a too small. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you. Please share this message. Share it. Share it. And still come and listen to it. It's available on YouTube and also on Facebook. God bless you. See you again. God bless you. Join us for our convention this week. God bless you. Bye-bye.